Good evening. Thank you all for coming. If you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. My name is Megan Benham. I am a senior in the Early Childhood Education Program, and my associate school is Springboro High School. I am also a part of the National Technical Honor Society and the Student Ambassador Program. Currently, I am using my ECE skills at the YMCA on the Child Watch Team. I'm going to continue working at the YMCA over the summer, and I plan to use my Tech Prep Scholarship to attend Sinclair next year. I, my goal is to finish Sinclair and transfer to Mount St. Joseph, while at, where I will earn a bachelor's degree in education. There are a few people I would like to thank for helping me get through the past couple years of my life. First, I would like to thank my lab instructor, Mrs. Lisa Powell, for continually motivating me for the last two years. She has been a great teacher and a great help. I would also like to thank both of my parents. Thank you for, for, for helping me and believing in me. By working together, we have found ways to accomplish my goals. I am proud to be representing FCCLA Family Career and Community Leaders of America. It is the only career and technical school student organization with family as its main focus. As FCCLA members, our ECE lab was able to pack shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child, help write thank you letters for our veterans and enrich the lives of, our learn of the children in our lear learning lab preschool. I was lucky enough to attend the FCCLA regional competition in March and received a gold medal for th in the observation and assessment competition. The Warren County Career Center has provided all of us with the skills and opportunities to help us in the real world. As students at the Career Center, we have been given a head start for our futures. I am excited and humbled to be the first to, con to congratulate everyone in the class of 2019 on completing this very long and at times difficult journey. Even though we are celebrating the end of our high school career, today is the first day of the rest of our lives. I look forward to seeing where all of, you, all of these great minds go in the future. I wish every one, one of you the best of luck. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Sarah Babson and my home school is Lebanon High School. I am earning my career technical certification in the legal, legal Office Technology Lab. As a member of the Legal Lab, I am a participant in BPA, which stands for Business Professionals of America. I am also a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Before coming to this career center, I knew that I wanted to work in the legal field, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Being at the school with all the amazing staff, I have really been pushed in the right direction to become a paralegal. As a student of the Warren County Career Center, I have learned and grown so much in the past two years. I have had the opportunity to do many exciting things, like visiting the prison, the jail, sit in on real court cases, and even be the lead defense in our 2018 mock trial. On top of all of that, I have been able to go on early job placement to use my skills I've learned these past two years at First National Bank. I was also able to compete in the BPA regional competitions, and I was able to earn certifications in first aid, CPR, HIPAA, OSHA, and FEMA, which really helped me in the workforce. I would like to thank the staff and faculty of the Warren County Career Center, as well as my family and friends for supporting me these past two years and helping me pursue a career as a paralegal. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize some special guests who are with us tonight. I would like to start by introducing the Warren County Career Center board members and district administrators. Please hold your applause till the end where everyone has been acknowledged. Board President, Ms. Bobby Grice, representing Little Miami Schools. Board President, Ms. Esther Larson, representing Lebanon City Schools. Mr. Mike Cremines, representing Little Miami Schools. Ms. Lori Rowley, representing Franklin City Schools. Ms. Bonnie Baker Hicks, representing Kings Local Schools. Mr. Charles Anderson, representing Springboro Community Schools. Mr. Dave Barton, representing Wayne Local Schools. Mr. Rick Smith, Superintendent of the Warren County Career Center. 
Ms. Kathy McMonagle, Treasurer of the Warren County Career Center, and Mr. Gary Patton, Interim Director of Adult Education for the Warren County Career Center. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Meredith Golden, and my associate school is Springboro High School. I am a student from the Veterinary Science class located off the main campus of the Warren County Career Center. I would like to thank you all for attending this exciting and important event. I would like to thank my program instructor, Mrs. Pello, for working with us for the two years, and Ms. Bellotti for being our student teacher. You had to deal with all 13 girls and Jordan, and there was never a dull moment. You would go from telling us how to restrain animals and teaching us how to give shots to giving life's greatest advice. Veterinary science is a wonderful program. The program has taught me many things that I can apply throughout my life, whether in going into college or into the workforce. This lab taught us many skills, big and small. As we begin working and doing early job placement, we realized how important those skills were. Also, Dr. Rich felt it was important to mention the 420 hours I spent at Four Paws, which helped shape who I want to become. I feel more prepared having taken the veterinary science class because it gave me a head start into the medical field and helped me find my true calling to become a veterinarian. With all the surgical procedures that we observed in our classroom really shows how the medical process works. We didn't just play with animals. We got to scrub into surgeries and help with pre and post op care and really got a hands on learning experience. I would like to give a special thanks to Dr. Coleman, Dr. Caitlin, and Dr. Mead for volunteering their time to perform surgery in our classroom. It was an unforgettable experience. My congratulations goes out to everyone on their accomplishments in making it to this point. You should all be so proud of yourselves. I wish you all nothing but success. At this time, it is my honor to introduce the superintendents and principals from each associate school and ask that they please stand to be recognized when their names are called. Please hold your applause until each school's representative has been introduced. Representing Franklin City Schools Superintendent Dr. Michael Sander and High School Principal Mrs. Kelly Fromm. Representing King's Local Schools High School Assistant Principal Mr. Jeff Miller. Representing Lebanon City Schools, High School Assistant Principal, Mr. Casey Wood. Representing Little Miami Schools, Superintendent, Mr. Greg Power, and High School Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Regina Morgan, and Mrs. Kathy Trevathan. Representing Middletown City Schools, Principal, Ms. Camilla Cotter. Representing Springboro Community Schools, Superintendent, Mr. Dan Schreer, and high school principal, Mr. Kyle Martin. Representing Wayne Local Schools, Superintendent, Mr. Pat Dubbs, and high school principal, Dr. Sam Eisen. I would now like to introduce the superintendent of the Warren County Career Center, Mr. Rick Smith. Good evening. As superintendent of the Warren County Career Center, it is an honor to participate in this ceremony tonight as we celebrate the class of 2019. Class of 2019, tonight we celebrate a significant and wonderful chapter of your life and years of hard work. It has been an honor and a privilege watching your journey this year. You have proved that you are a class full of talented and outstanding leaders ready for a new challenge. If you, have not done, if you have not yet done so, take some time soon to thank those responsible for this day, your parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, friends, teachers, administrators, school board members, and any other significant people who have had an impact on your educational career. You should be extremely proud of yourselves and your accomplishments. 
it is significant to me that you have not only achieved success in your career technical field, but in your academic areas too. You are not just culinary arts students or auto technology students who know how to make a great meal or fix a broken car, but you leave the Warren County Career Center as well-rounded, educated students who are ready for the world. With the knowledge you have gained in school, with the support of your family and the wonderful friendships you have made at the Career Center, I am confident that you will find success and happiness and will make the most of the opportunities that will be coming your way. It is my sincere hope that you will always remember and cherish your time at the Career Center. I speak for all of our staff when I say we are proud to see how you have grown the past two years, and we look forward to seeing your future accomplishments. You have set a standard for future classes with your positive character traits and your caring attitude, and you have inspired all of us as educators. You are about to become Warren County Career Center alumni, and you are always invited to continue to be involved in the success of the school you helped shape. Advise your younger friends and siblings about the importance of learning and taking school seriously, and remember you are always a member of the Warren County Career Center family. To family and friends, thank you for joining us this evening and celebrating this great occasion. To our seniors, thank you for choosing to spend the last few years with us, and congratulations and good luck, Class of 2019. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Warren County Career Center 2018-2019 Salutatorium, Othniel Plata. Othniel is a little Miami school senior who studied graphic arts at the Career Center. His, his current GPA is 4.83. Othniel has earned numerous college credit plus and tech prep credits through our academic and career tech classes at Warren County Career Center. He will be continuing his education at Sinclair Community College, pursuing a degree in graphic arts. Othniel is a member of our National Technical Honor Society, participated in Warren County Career Center Veterans Day event, and the graphic arts visit to the Cincinnati Veterans Hospital. Othniel is recognized this evening as Little Miami's top Career Center student, Warren County Career Center's top English student, and has also earned the Warren County Career Center Graphic Arts Award of Distinction. When not involved in his studies, Othniel has the honor of being a former first degree black belt and has been active in creating ads for billboards and magazines. Please join me in congratulating Othniel Plata, Little Miami Senior, as our 2018-2019 Salutatorium. Before I start, I would like to say that Mr. Rogel, my U.S. government teacher, has been a teacher for 32 years, 19 of which at the Warren County Career Center. He is retiring soon, and I want to wish him the best of luck in his life of retirement, along with all the other retirement retiring teachers. I also want to say thank you to Mr. Howard Norris, my instructor at the Graphic Arts Lab. He's been a great instructor, and he gave me a lot of hope, and I feel stronger than ever before because of him. I'll say it prior. My name is Othniel Plato, and I'm glad to be here as a salutatorian of the Warren County Career Center, as well as a National Technical Honor Society member and the bronze winner at the State Skills USA competition for photography. Today, these fine young adults will be granted their career passports. These passports represent the vast amount of effort, time, and of course, pain these students put themselves through for not only getting good grades, but for acquiring the skills necessary in the field they desire to pursue. 
Being a Slewatorian, I now know who I am at the Warren County Career Center. I am the center's Pepsi, while Grace Jordan, the valedictorian, is its Coca-Cola. <laughs> Pepsi's still good, though. But in all seriousness, I applaud Grace for achieving valedictorian, and I'm sure her effort and skills she used to reach this distinction will help her achieve great things for the rest of her life. For myself, I have had, to, I, <clears throat> I have had a unique and fun experience at this school due to both my graphic design graphic design program and its people. I personally always try to work to develop and improve upon my skills, and I got the opportunity to interact and learn with the finest of people. Being a salutatorian does not necessarily mean being one of the smartest. I would not be here if that were the case. Being a top-tier student means being responsible, turning in projects and classwork on time, and forming bonds with yourself as a learner, other students, and your teachers. Being a Little Miami student as well, we were taught a simple way of life since the beginning. Be respectful, be responsible, and be a problem solver. I have always followed these rules, and as you can see, they have served me well. Mm -hmm. The Warren County Career Center is a great educational foundation with quality education, teachers, bus drivers, and staff. The men's restrooms and their half stalls. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> While some of us may only think of the technical and academic skills this school has taught us, it has also taught us the social skills. I have met, I have met a variety of people from different schools and different programs and made great friendships that I hope can continue on beyond this ceremony. Knowing how to interact with customers and ensuring their satisfaction are necessary in order to become, in order to be a fine contributing person in business and society. All of us here, no matter the career path we take, are providing a service for some other person. Our trades help other lives experience joy. They could even save lives directly and indirectly. Our strength is not solely in ourselves and school. It was you, the parents, family, and friends of all of us here tonight that has nurtured us to grow strong. This strength is important to thrive happily in our ever-changing world. To my mom, dad, and my family and friends, I love you and appreciate all of your support. The WCCC, to the surprise of many, did not teach us to be perfect, but to rather strive to go beyond what we thought we were capable of. This has filled us with the raw energy and attraction towards a brighter future, a brighter future in a world which seems to be devoured at times by the darkness of despair, intolerance, and bigotry. The hope and compassion our generation has is brighter than the burning embers of the stars. Our courage to change and improve our society shall one day shape the world for the future. Performing acts of kindness with no ulterior motives, such as being award, rewarded or acknowledged, is what, is what makes a true hero. Kindness is one of the most valuable things humanity has to offer, and yet every day it seems like that kindness is deteriorating. Simple acts of kindness can be far-reaching and everlasting. These anonymous acts of kindness do not have to be life-saving, but any act of kinding, kindness is life-enriching. Kindness given to a life is like a withered plant in the middle of a desert, receiving an enlightening shower of rejuvenating water. I hope that all of us here can keep kindness alive for our world. Tonight, we all hope that our progress towards a better future will lead to a healthy society. As we celebrate the success of just a small yet very powerful portion of that potential future tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Othniel.
I am honored to present you with the 2018-2019 Salutatorium Award from the Warren County Career Center. Our 2018-2019 valedictorian, Grace Jordan, a Waynesville High School senior, studied, vet studied veterinary science at the Warren County Career Center. Her current GPA is 4.317. Through Warren County Career Center's highest level academics, Grace has earned 14 college credit plus credits, three technical college credits, and six Sinclair College credits. In addition to these achievements, Grace will be officially recognized as Waynesville High School's top Career Center student and will be awarded the Black and Gold Scholarship from the Career Center Teacher Association this evening. She has received the Spartan Grant and other grants to attend Michigan State University, where Grace will pursue a degree in pre-veterinary medicine with her end goal of being a small and exotic veterinarian. While attending the Career Center's veterinary science program, Grace was able to assist in numerous surgeries while maintaining her excellent grades. Please join me in congratulating Grace Jordan, Waynesville High School senior, as our 2018-2019 valedictorian. Just two years ago, during my sister's graduation, I sat where you sit today, right about there to be exact. Not knowing that I would be standing before you at this moment, I turned to my mom while their valedictorian was giving her speech and said, I want to do that. After years of wanting to give up and countless mental breakdowns, we finally made it here, and I'm so proud of all of us. When we came to the Warren County Career Center, Many of us thought that we knew what we wanted to do with our lives. Here, all of us gained valuable job skills and grew so much as individuals. For some of us, we've learned that maybe we want to pursue a different career, and that's okay because we learned that before we were out in the world trying to find our bearings. For a lot of us, though, our programs have confirmed our original plans. In my case, veterinary science has made me want to become a veterinarian even more than I already wanted to at the beginning of my junior year. It has led me to the conclusion that I want to pursue a career in working with both small and exotic animals. I owe that to my lab teachers, Mrs. Pello and Ms. Bellotti, who made our program what it is today. In this class, I saw my first lizard surgery. Yeah, that's a thing. Got a behind the scenes tour of the veterinary hospital at the Cincinnati Zoo and spoke to their veterinarian, assisted in over 100 spays and neuters for the Humane Association, and even got the opportunity to scrub into a surgery and make my very first cut. I spent every day learning about my passion, and I'm a firm believer that if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. I truly love veterinary medicine, and my experience at the Career Center has allowed me to explore the field in depth. As in my case and many others, attending the Career Center aided us in becoming attractive candidates to our prospective colleges. The Career Center has also allowed us to become attractive to employers and has given many of us the ability to go straight into the workforce with higher level jobs than that of a regular high school. In whichever case, I think I speak for everyone when I say we're ready to move on from high school. This is not an end, but a beginning. The beginning of the lives that we worked so hard to make for ourselves. So class of 2019, let's go see what the world has to offer us. And as Bob Barker always said, Help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Grace, for your insightful words. I am honored to present the Warren County Career Center 2018-2019 Valedictorian Award to you. At this time, Mrs. Kim Gates, Warren County Career Center Social Studies Instructor, will make 
the scholarship and award announcements. We are pleased to announce that the following students had perfect attendance for the 2017-18 school year. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. Alexander Borneman, Lauren Kelly, Sydney Linden, Joel Lyon, Oria Rodriguez Bruno, Brittany Spangler, Latural Spicer, Genesis Wolf, Jordan Wolf. The following students had perfect attendance for the 2018-19 school year. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. Alexander Borneman, Lauren Kelly, Joel Lyon, Alexis Robb. The following students had perfect attendance for the 2017-18 and 2018-2019 school years. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. Alexander Borneman, Lauren Kelly, Joel Lyon. All those who were in perfect attendance for those years, please stand and be recognized. One student from each of the career technical programs is awarded career technical award of distinction. Recipients are chosen by the career technical instructor based on their performance in their program. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been announced. The class of 2019 career technical award of distinctions are awarded to Kyle Keister, Advanced Technologies and Robotics. Austin Witt, Automotive Technology. Megan Rigby, Aviation. Jonah Lowrance, Carpentry. Cameron Bors, Cosmetology. Gabriel Feskin, Criminal Justice. Alexis Robb, Culinary Technology. Ashley Murphy, Dental Assisting. Devin Loomis, Digital Design. Megan Benham, Early Childhood Education. Jackson McDonald, Electricity. Adam Waftel, Environmental Controls HVAC. Jeremiah Harbison, Fire Science EMT Basics. Othniel Plata, Graphic Arts. Courtney O'Brien, Health Science Academy. Dalton Prater, Heavy Equipment. Joseph Arnold, Informational Technology. Abby Spence, Landscaping Technology. Sarah Babson, Legal Office Technology. William Carter, Power Systems. Taylor McCullough, Sports Medicine. Jarrah Jordan, Veterinary Science. Austin Onspot, Welding and Metal Fabrication. Congratulations to all of you for this honor. You may be seated. The top student in each academic subject is also honored. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. For English, Othniel Plata. For Science, Zoe Hill. For Mathematics, Emily Osborne. For Social Studies, Zoe Hill. Congratulations. You may be seated. Next, we would like to recognize the top performing student from each of our associate schools. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. Billy Gabbard, Franklin High School. Adam Olson, Kings High School. Samantha Hoke, Lebanon High School. 
Othniel Plata, Little Miami High School. Zoe Hill, Springboro High School. Courtney O'Brien, Open Enrollment, Carlisle High School. Grace Jordan, Waynesville High School. Congratulations. It is my special honor to recognize the hard work and dedication of four men who have earned the Eagle Scout rank. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. Caleb Carter, Dakota Fox, Nathan Schwartz, and Adam Waftel. Congratulations, gentlemen. Would all of our students who have accepted the selfless call to serve in any of our wonderful military branches please stand and remain standing. Please remain standing. Now would all members in our audience or on stage who are serving or have served please also stand. Please help me to give them a big thank you to all of these individuals. Thank you for your service and citizenship. Next, we would like to recognize our WCCC student ambassadors who are wearing a blue and white honors cord tonight. These students help coordinate events in our building through the, throughout their senior year. To become a student ambassador, students must complete an application and receive two teacher recommendations. Student ambassadors, will you please stand up to be recognized and thank you for your hard work this year. Thank you. Finally, I will announce our scholarship winners. This is the first time these students have learned they are the recipients of these scholarships. Please be respectful so that they may hear all of the announcements. The scholarships are awarded to our seniors by different committees through various memorial and scholarship funds within our community. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing until all names have been called. The WCCC Black and Gold Teachers Association Scholarship, Grace Jordan. The Sid and Jackie Roach Memorial Scholarship, Jara Jordan. The Bonnie J. Burkhart Memorial Cra Career Passport Scholarship, Skylar Watkins. The WCCC Education Foundation Scholarship, for which there were two recipients, Zoe Hill and Jara Jordan. The Jewel Educational Foundation Scholarship, for which there are two recipients, Taylor McCullough and Tyler McCullough. The Educational Partners George Henkel Scholarship, Zoe Hill. The Warren County Franklin B. Walters Scholarship, Zoe Hill. The Justin Back Be a Hero Scholarship, for which there are three recipients, Jeremiah Harbison, Caitlin Little, and James Thompson. The Sedexo Scholarship, Alexis Robb. The Kiwanis Club of Lebanon Merit Award Scholarship, Austin Onspa. The Lebanon Rotary Scholarship, Devin Loomis and Marissa Holland. Students, you will need to contact the student services next week to ensure we complete their appropriate pa paperwork for all of these awards. Congratulations to all of you. We are so proud of every single one of you.
Good evening. My name is Devin Loomis, and I am from the Digital Design Program. I am from Lebanon City Schools District, and it is my honor to represent Digital Design, the Warren County Career Center, and the National Technical Honor Society. The motto of the NTHS is, success favors the prepared mind, which can be applied to all the students here tonight. The stole that I wear bears the colors for the organization, silver, white, and purple. Silver represents value and worth. White represents truth and honesty. Purple represents achievement and honor. All of these moral characteristics are needed to maintain the high standards of the NTHS. The emblem that is embossed on the stole is a shield crossed by a scroll bearing the letters NTHS. This is the shield of honor that is covered by the scroll of education. Above the shield is the head of an American bald eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling around it. The bald eagle represents patriotism and community service. The seven stars represent the seven attributes of NTHS. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, scholarship, citizenship, and leadership. Our school inducted 72 seniors into our chapter of NTHS these, this year. These students needed to maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher, have at least 95% attendance, and be nominated and approved by the career technical program and academic teachers. Now I'd like to briefly recognize the students that have met the requirements, so all members of the National Technical Honors Society please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. NTHS is one of the many ways that we honor Warren County Career Center students for their outstanding performance and academics and strong leadership skills. As I look back on the past two years that, that we have spent together, the challenges we have faced, and the achievements we have made, I wish all of you the best in whatever life brings you as you strive to reach your goals. Thank you. and I'm a representative of both Skills USA and NTHS, as well as a student in the cosmetology program. My associate school is Little Miami High School. In this evening's ceremony, all seniors will receive a career passport, which has been prepared to help students be successful in the next phase of their lives. This passport contains a record of the career technical skills they've achieved, a cover letter, a resume, certificates of recognition for honors they've received in the past two years, as well as a letter from our superintendent. Students who meet the attendance, academic, occupational, and employability goals of their programs will also receive a certificate of completion. At this time, I would like to congratulate the entire senior class of 2019. I would like to thank all the staff of the Warren County Career Center for pushing all of us to get to where we are now. Every single staff member here has had a hand in the success of this graduating class. I would like to give a special thanks to my family and my friends for your incredible support and love. Thank you to Ms. Frandoni and to Ms. Kinzer for taking care of me these last few years, for always believing in me, and for pushing me to do the things you knew that I always could. Also, thank you to Ms. Williams and to Ms. Dawn for being there for me when things were more difficult. I am deeply grateful for everything that this school and its staff members have done for me. Thank you. Hello and good evening. My name is Alex Gross. My home school is Little Miami, and I have just completed the two-year criminal justice program at the Warren County Career Center. On behalf of all the students who have participated in SkillsUSA or any other career technical student organization, I would like to congratulate you on your accomplishments this year. SkillsUSA is a career technical organization that nationally unites students with common interest in pursuing a career. It helps students prepare for the challenges that are ahead of us in the workforce and creates clear visions of the leaders who we want to become. As a member in SkillsUSA, I got the opportunity to become a state officer. And as a state officer, I got the opportunity to go to a National Leadership and Skills Conference where I was allowed to vote for our national officers, and I also got the chance to lead our summer leadership camp. At our fall conference this year, I got the opportunity to speak in front of 1,400 people. 
and lead the new segue for SkillsUSA Ohio and the new members who had joined. And finally, I got to wrap up my senior year by giving away my state officer position to somebody who truly deserves it. Participating at SkillsUSA allowed me to utilize the skills and knowledge I had gained from the criminal justice program and encouraged me to push myself to achieve my highest leadership levels. The SkillsUSA competitions themselves presented opportunities to meet other students from a whole bunch of other schools with similar career interests and pathways as mine. I would like to thank all of my teachers, both at Little Miami and at the Career Center, for pushing me to be my best and helping me pave my way to my future. Most importantly, I'd like to thank Ms. Carrie Frandoni and Mr. Jeff Piper for everything they have done for me and for pushing me past what I once thought were my limits. I've never met two teachers more dedicated to helping the student body of the Warren County Career Center in any way they can. The Warren County Career Center was an amazing opportunity that I would encourage anybody to participate in. Not only did I have amazing teachers, but I was able to focus on a path I wanted for my future and have the confidence and preparation to reach my goals. As a tribute to the class of the 2019, the digital design program of the Warren County Career Center had a brief video presentation playing before the ceremony and will play it after the ceremony. Please take a few minutes to enjoy our memories from 2018 and 2019. Now, I would like to introduce individuals who are dedicated to ensuring that every student who comes to the Warren County Career Center has the opportunity for a bright future. Mr. Rob Robison, Interim Director of Secondary Education, Ms. Kendra Murphy, Assistant Director of Secondary Education. Mr. Ken McCone, Assistant Director of Secondary Education. And Ms. Robin Frederick, Assistant Director of Satellite Programming. <laughs> These individuals have been assisting the students with the ceremony tonight. The presentation of our passports will be done by the Warren County Career Center counselors by the reading of their names. The Career Technical Program instructor will be presenting the passports to the students with the, with the assistance of a related WCCC academic instructor. Lastly, thank you to all of the staff of WCCC and our associate school staffs. You are all the ones that work tirelessly every day, every year to get us to this evening. Thank you. Please remember that this is a formal ceremony, so out of respect for all students, please hold your applause until all names have been called. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2019. The following students are from Advanced Robotics. David Bloom, Middletown. Alexander Borneman, Little Miami. Dakota Fox, Lebanon. Christopher Heckard, Franklin. Nolan Hohenbrink, Little Miami, Kyle Keister, Middletown, Bryce Resmussell, Lebanon, Austin Selby, Franklin, Nathaniel Wallace, Lebanon, and the following students are from the Carpentry Lab. Billy Gabbard, Franklin. Hmm.
Jessica Hughes, Little Miami. Benjamin Johnson, Kings. Jonah Lawrence, Kings. Gordon Marshall, Franklin. Adam Olson, Kings. Seth Sandlin, Kings. Destiny Waters, Franklin. Joshua Wilder, Little Miami. Skylar Workman, Little Miami. And the following students are from the Culinary Technology Lab. Jack Bell, Kings. Sarah Beckman, Kings. Brittany Briggs, Springboro. Katherine Cooper, Springboro. Matthew Day, Little Miami. Lillian Frederick, Franklin. Joshua Harbison, Franklin. Jamie Jenkins, Lebanon. Alexis Robb, Little Miami. Mackenzie Rogers, Lebanon. Brian Roy, Little Miami. Jessica Saldana, Kings. William Shelton, Springboro. William Sutton, Lebanon. Maxwell Tedrick, Lebanon. The following students are from the Electricity Lab. Brady Barton, Springboro. Luke Clenadin, Lebanon. Cameron Kraft, Franklin. Andrew Gabbard, Middletown. Kyle Gilbert, Lebanon. Hunter Kleinberg, Springboro. Charles Comer, Middletown. Jackson McDonald, Kings, Jacob McMullen, Waynesville, Christopher Prater, Franklin, Jacob Rasmussell, Lebanon, Nathan Schwartz, Little Miami, Ethan Smith, Lebanon, Joshua Fluffy Stacy Franklin The following students are from the Environmental Controls Lab Caleb Carter Franklin Joshua Clapsaddle, Franklin. Blake Evans, Govs. Logan Green, Lebanon. Paul Johnson, Springboro. Lucas Purvis, Springboro. Jamie Sandlin, Little Miami. Adam Waftel, Franklin. <laughs> the 
The following students are from the Heavy Equipment Lab. Ronald Cooper Brandenburg, Little Miami. Jordan Corgett, Little Miami. Gregory Kraft, Lebanon. Trinity Farrow, Franklin. Dylan Hawk, Franklin. Jacob Hines, Franklin. Alexander Howard, Lebanon. Zachary Howard, Lebanon. Noah Race Kings. Hunter Roland, Lebanon. Bryant Scott, Franklin. John Schaefer, Waynesville. The following students are from the Welding and Fabrication Lab. Austin Onspa, Lebanon. John Barnthouse, Waynesville. Bruce Booer, Lebanon. Riley Brownrigg, Springboro. Caden Burns, Little Miami. Abraham Dabdu, Kings. Jackson Galt, Lebanon. Connor Iverson, Springboro. Bryce Miller, Franklin. Jaden Napier, Franklin. Emily Osborne, Springboro. Chase Ott, Little Miami. Elijah Phipps, Lebanon. Evan Schinkel, Little Miami. And Blake Sparks, Springboro. For the Aerospace Academy, Keegan Helton, Little Miami. John Harold, Middletown. Andrew Krumi, Kings. Michael Malloy, Centerville. Tyler McCullough, Springboro. <laughs> Megan Rigby, Little Miami. Gabriel Scott, Springboro. And Kyle Stover, Lebanon. For the Criminal Justice Lab, Seth Bennett, Middletown, Robert Dobbs, Little Miami, Christian Fisher, Lebanon.
Melissa Holland, Lebanon. Noah Metcalf, Springboro. Alexander Rose, Little Miami. Alexander Shearer, Lebanon. Gabriel Theskin, Little Miami. From the Digital Design Lab. Dennis Armstrong Bowman, Kings. Kelly Castle, Lebanon. Jackson Cooper, Little Miami. Taylor Gilbert, Kings High School. Lydia Gray, Lebanon. Devin Loomis, Lebanon. Antonio Rodriguez, Lebanon. Brianna Slayton, Franklin. Early Childhood Education. Megan Benham, Springboro. Morgan Boost, Springboro. Lainey Buckaloo, Kings. Alyssa Durant, Lebanon. Morgan Rathcamp, Franklin. Cameron Seifert, Springboro. Karina Tesson, Lebanon. Shyla Wallace, Little Miami. Fire Science EMT Basic. Hannah Foxbauer, Clinton Massey. Matthew Greaterex, Little Miami. Jeremiah Harvison, Franklin. Chase Lee, Springboro. Caitlin Little, Ross. Jack Price, Little Miami. Sky Roslow, Little Miami. James Thompson, Lebanon.
from the Graphic Arts Lab. Ariana Elkhorn Franklin. Kayla Bates, Springboro. Jessica Bowman, Franklin. Jane Cole, Lebanon. Caitlin Donovan, Little Miami. Zoe Hill, Springboro. Samantha Hoke, Lebanon. Emily Hoffman, Franklin. Lauren Kelly, Lebanon. Sydney Linden Franklin. Lexi McCool, Springboro. Carrington Newman, Little Miami. Othniel Plata, Little Miami. Paige Sprawl, Franklin. <laughs> Haley Stewart, Kings. And Skylar Watkins, Little Miami. From the Information Technology Lab. Cole Aikam, Lebanon. Joseph Arnold, Little Miami. Nathaniel Blanton, Franklin. Matthew Brinkman, Lebanon. Caleb Campbell, Franklin. Tyler Cleish, Little Miami. Thomas DeBoard, Springboro. Grant Franz, Lebanon. Matthew Gerardo, Lebanon. Brady Jones, Springboro. Alexander Long, Waynesville. Michael Rapaski, Lebanon. Hunter Robinson, Springboro. Matthew Solomon, Kings. William Taylor, Little Miami. From the Landscape Technology Lab. Samantha Foster, Kings. Jacob Gillis, Franklin. Yep. Hold on. Got 
Dakota Rose Franklin. And Abby Smith Springboro. Following students from the Automotive Technology Lab Connor Applegate, Lebanon. Jared Connor, Little Miami. Isaac Craig, Lebanon. Elijah Everhart, Lebanon. Kyle McCoin, Little Miami. Ryland Nail, Lebanon. Reagan Smith, Lebanon. Angelina Trisketa, Little Miami. Austin Witt, Lebanon. The following students from the Power Systems Lab. Joseph Allen, Franklin. Arlie Branham, Springboro. William Carter, Waynesville. Derek Combs, Lebanon. Blaine Ingle, Springboro. Javen Evans, Franklin. The following students from the Cosmetology Lab. Samantha Abner, Carlisle. Taryn Bailey, Lebanon. <laughs> Kelly Blueball, Springboro. Cameron Bores, Carlisle. Madison Connor, Springboro. Rhonda Cummings, Springboro. Lauren Dorcheff, Little Miami. Patricia Dozer, Little Miami. Mandy Freeman, Lebanon. Sarah Hodgkins, Kings. Quinn Monahan, Centerville. Kayliana Ramsey, Lebanon. Lindsay Shannon, Little Miami. Madeline Stacy, Little Miami. Sophie Ungru, Little Miami. Gabrielle Witherspoon, Little Miami. The following students from the Dental Assisting Lab. Alexandria Brown, Middletown. Haley Hen, Franklin. Justin Hibbard, Franklin. Victoria Jamison, Lebanon. Fisher Langdon, Franklin. Jody McKenzie, Waynesville. Ashley Murphy, Clinton Massey. Carly Spradlin, Springboro. Jordan Wolf, Franklin.
following students from the Health Science Lab. Calista Abenante, Lebanon. Trinity Alexander, Lebanon. Savannah Barboza, Franklin. Brandel Benton, Franklin. Kylie Butler, Lebanon. Abigail Clark, Lebanon. Grace Del Camp, Franklin. Taylor DeMoss, Springboro. Caitlin Goodwin, Middletown. Sarah Handy, Springboro. Brianna Hayes, Lebanon. Samantha Kilburn, Franklin. Hannah Kleinberg, Springboro. Kendra Martin, Franklin. Bobby McCoy, Waynesville. Courtney O'Brien, Carlisle. Cheyenne Pohl, Springboro. Lizzie Purdy, Franklin. Kendall Reed, Springboro. Skyra Richardson, Lebanon. Kara Ritchie, Franklin. Lindsay Sears, Little Miami. Alyssum Troxel, Springboro. Brianna Watts, Springboro. Katie Wilson, Waynesville. Maya Woldarzik, Lebanon. Genesis Wolf, Franklin. The following students from the Legal Office Technology Lab. Sarah Babson, Lebanon. Macy Chikalski, Springboro. Haley Dotson, Springboro. Brianna Ferguson, Franklin. Alexis Howard, Kings. Ashley Lafarge, Little Miami. Joel Lyon, Lebanon. Haley Morrow, Lebanon. Morgan Pereira, Springboro. Alyssa Whiteside, Franklin. Christina Wysong, Lebanon.
the following students from the Sports Medicine Lab. Madison Bunyard, Lebanon. Nicholas Kemp, Springboro. Taylor McCullough, Springboro. Latero Spicer, Springboro. The following students from the Veterinary Science Lab. Sharla Bees, Waynesville. Alyssa Biggerstaff, Franklin. Jordan Fugit, Franklin. Meredith Golden, Springboro. Anna Harris, Springboro. Velvet Ann Holston, Little Miami. Grace Jordan, Waynesville. Jarrah Jordan, Springboro. Catherine Kurtz, Springboro. Jesse Miller, Carlisle. Oria Rodriguez Bruno, Lebanon. Brittany Spangler, Lebanon. And Alexis Walker, Middletown. Well, I want to commend the student body on not tripping down that. Everybody did a really good job. So on behalf of the Warren County Vocational School District Board of Education, I'm sorry, it's not mine. There we go. Warren County Career Center Class of 2019, as I call your school, please stand and remain, please stand up and remain standing. Franklin. Kings, Lebanon, Little Miami, Springboro, Waynesville, Carlisle, Centerville, Clinton Massey, Greater Ohio Virtual School, Mason, Middletown, Ohio Virtual Academy, Ross, West Clinton, and all homeschooled students, please stand and remain standing. Ms. Grice, would you please come forward? Ms. Grice, as Interim Director of Secondary Education for the Warren County Career Center Vocational School, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Warren County class 42nd completing class, the 2019 Career Center class. First of all, I would like to say how proud I am of all of you. And on behalf of the Warren County Vocational School District's Board of Education, I accept this class of 2019 and acknowledge their completion of the Career Center's requirements.
We, we thank all of you for sharing this special evening with us and ask that you please remain seated until the speakers have let all the seniors off stage. They will be released to meet you up on the above con concourses once we finish backstage. Thank you. Have a safe journey home. Good night and hooray, you're finished.